Let's look at question seven. In the context of generative AI models, what does the term top P refer to and how does it impact the text generation process? And then we have four options. Option A top P refers to selecting the most probable next word in the sequence, ensuring the model always picks the highest probability word leading to deterministic outputs. Option B top P is a method for filtering the model's vocabulary to only consider the top probability words that collectively sum up to a probability of P, which allows for more diverse and creative text generation. Option C top P is a technique used to train the model by prioritizing the loss function, ensuring that the model converges faster during training. Option D top P is an approach to limit the maximum length of the generated sequence ensuring the output is concise and controlled. To solve this question, the first step is to understand the purpose of each option and then eliminate one that clearly doesn't fit. Recognize that top P is related to the diversity and creativity of text generation, which directly impacts how varied the model's output can be. Exclude options that confuse top P with other concepts like greedy sampling option A, training processes option C, or sequence length control option D. Now match the term with its function. Consider the specific role of top P in controlling which words are considered for text generation. It's about selecting from a cumulative probability rather than always choosing the most probable word. Let's take a look at each option one by one. Option A top P refers to selecting the most probable next word. This describes greedy sampling, not top P. Greedy sampling always picks the highest probability word which can lead to predictable and repetitive outputs, not the diversity that top P provides. Option D top P is correct because top P or nuclear sampling is a sampling technique used in generative AI models to control the diversity of generated text. Instead of always picking the highest probability words, which can lead to repetitive or overly deterministic outputs, top P sampling considers a subset of words that collectively account for a cumulative probability of P. This allows for more diverse and creative outputs by giving a chance to less probable words while still maintaining coherence. Option C top P is a technique used to train the model. This statement is incorrect because top P is not related to the training process. It's a sampling technique used during the generation phase, not during training. Option D top P is an approach to limit the maximum length of the generated sequence. This is incorrect because top P is not about controlling the sequence length, but about controlling the diversity of the generated content by filtering out words based on their cumulative probability. This reasoning leads to option B. Top P is a method for filtering the model's vocabulary to only consider the top probability words that collectively sum up to a probability of P, which allows for more diverse and creative text generation as the correct answer.